without books is like a body without a soul. If you have a garden and a library, you have everything you need. To be ignorant of what occurred before you were born is to remain always a child. For what is the worth of human life? unless it is woven into the life of our ancestors by the records of history. In times of war, the law falls silent. Read at every weight. Read at all hours. Read within leisure. Read in times of labor. Read as one goes in. Read as one goes out. The task of the educated mind is simply put, read to lead. If we are not ashamed to think it, we should not be ashamed to say it. Friendship improves happiness and abates misery by doubling our joys and dividing our grief. Gratitude is not only the greatest of virtues, but the parent of all others. For there is but one essential justice which cements society, and one law which establishes this justice. This law is right reason, which is the true rule of all commandments and prohibitions. Whoever neglects this law, whether written or unwritten, is necessarily unjust and wicked. Not to know what has been transacted in former times is to be always a child. If no use is made of the labors of past ages, the world must remain always in the infancy of knowledge. The authority of those who teach is often an obstacle to those who want to learn. For books are more than books. They are the life, the very heart and core of ages past, the reason why men work and die, the essence and quintessence of their lives. The life given us by nature is short, but the memory of a well-spent life is eternal. While there's life, there's hope. The life of the dead is set in the memory of the living. Politicians are not born, they are excreted. The shifts of fortune test the reliability of friends. To study philosophy is nothing but to prepare oneself to die. The life of the dead is placed on the memories of the living. The love you gave in life keeps people alive beyond their time. Anyone who was given love will always live on in another's heart. I criticize by creation, not by finding fault. It is not by muscle, speed, or physical dexterity that great things are achieved, but by reflection, force of character, and judgment. What is morally wrong can never be advantageous, even when it enables you to make some gain that you believe to be to your advantage. The mere act of believing that some wrongful course of action constitutes an advantage is pernicious. We must not say every mistake is a foolish one. It is foolish to tear one's hair in grief, as though sorrow would be made less by boldness. 
It is a great thing to know your vices. I am not ashamed to confess I am ignorant of what I do not know. Your enemies can kill you, but only your friends can hurt you. When you wish to instruct, be brief. That men's children's minds take in quickly what you say, learn its lesson, and retain it faithfully. Every word that is unnecessary only pours over the side of a brimming mind. Our span of life is brief, but is long enough for us to live well and honestly. The enemy is within the gates. It is with our own luxury, our own folly, our own criminality that we have to contend. Freedom is participation in power. Any man can make mistakes, but only an idiot persists in his error. Knowledge which is divorced from justice may be called cunning rather than wisdom. The function of wisdom is to discriminate between good and evil. The man who backbites an absent friend, nay, who does not stand up for him when another blames him, the man who angles for bursts of laughter and for the repute of a wit, who can invent what he never saw, who cannot keep a secret that man is black at heart, mark and avoid him. Though silence is not necessarily an admission, it is not a denial, either. It is a peculiar quality of a fool to perceive the faults of others and to forget his own. Ability without honor is useless. What one has, one ought to use, and whatever he does, he should do with all his might. Time obliterates the fictions of opinion and confirms the decisions of nature. Diseases of the soul are more dangerous and more numerous than those of the body. Hours and days and months and years go by. The past returns no more and what is to be we cannot know. But whatever the time gives us in which we live, we should therefore be content. Nothing stands out so conspicuously or remains so firmly fixed in the memory as something which you have blundered. I prefer the most unfair peace to the most righteous war.